Hey guys, uh, back again here with another flashlight review. Uh, I want to thank the company Brynite for sending this T18 Artemis out to me for a thorough review on it. And if you guys use the code Hoosier Hunter on this, you'll get 10% off of this flashlight and the components that come with it. So I'll link this product down below in the description. And once again, the discount code is Hoosier Hunter. So make sure and type that in on the website and they'll give you 10% off of this product. So here you can see what comes with the unit. Uh, you've got the Brynite T18 Artemis. Got the wireless remote right here. Comes with some extra O-rings to keep dirt and moisture out of the internals. Your user manual. And the one that was sent to me uh, came with five different LED modules. So white was installed from factory. It's in the light itself right now. Comes with a green. Comes with a red. IR850 and also a UV. So this would be good for uh, tracking coyotes, tracking hogs, deer, anything like that. It's really going to make the blood stand out whenever you're shining the UV light against it. IR850 is great for night vision, uh, digital night vision or regular night vision. First, this thing is built really well out of a 6061 high grade military aircraft aluminum. Just put together really well, feels really good in the hand. And then we'll just kind of start at the end here and I'll just go through and show you the features of it. Comes with this lanyard on, you can take this off if you choose not to use it. Uh, comes with a nice tail cap right here. This is where you turn the unit on and off. If you unscrew this, this is how you access the battery. And you'll notice the battery here is the Brynite brand. It's a 5,000 milliamp. It's a 21,700 lithium ion USB type C rechargeable battery. So you actually do have to take the battery itself out of the flashlight to recharge it because you actually charge it right here by this plug-in. So you plug it in right here and just use a regular charging cord, USB type C. So you just take the USB type C charging cable, plug it right in there. And if it needs charge, once this is plugged in, this little light right here on the end will turn red. And then once it's fully charged, I believe it turns to green or blue, letting you know it's fully charged. I do wish there was a way to charge this with the battery staying inside of the flashlight, but that's not really that big a deal. I just prefer the external uh, charging devices. Sometimes you can plug them in up here around the housing, but it's not that big a deal to take the battery out. And then moving on from the battery, we'll move into showing you how to change the LED modules, which is very simple. You just kind of grab a hold of it up here and just twist right below where the name is. We'll separate. And the magnifier glass housing comes right off and you reduce this back down and that's where you can grab you can see the knurling there you can grab a hold of the LED the module the pill whatever you want to call it and then you can just twist it out and take one of your other ones and screw it right in very simple very easy to change these in and out you'll notice here they do have o-rings rubber gasket o-rings on any access points that come unscrewed. That way you keep dirt and moisture out, giving you better longevity of the flashlight. And that is it, you just screw it back on. And then you'll notice this thing does extend whenever you change the throw of the beam. So that right there would be the tightest beam, the furthest distance, and all the way down would be the flood. It's really good size of the light, not overly large, not too small, fits in the hand really well. I like it. And then you guys will see here in a little bit, for only being a 650 lumen light, uh, the throw on this thing is very impressive for only being 650 lumens. All right, here we are on the back porch. I'll show you guys the focus beam on this using the white LED first. Here we are, uh, focused all the way out 
kind of on the flood setting. And this tree line right here is right at 150 yards. You can see how well that beam shines out there. Top of this ridge is about 130 yards. Some people don't like the square box whenever you focus this down tight all the way, but all you gotta do is loosen it up just a little bit and it turns into a complete circle. Like I say, that's 150 yards right there, all those trees. There's back on the flood. I'm gonna turn you just a little bit. See this light back here, that's a barn. Way back there, the trees in front of this barn is 290 yards. see those trees up there lit up really well 290 yards the flood is really great on this just throws out a really nice beam fills the area really well switch over we'll throw in the red LED now and I'll show that to you guys all right here we are with the red LED the red has a beam distance of about 400 yards as the white has a beam distance of about 700 yards you can kind of see the difference here Try to pick up on this barn back here. That, like I say, that's about 300 yards and you can still see the trees back there up above the light on the barn. This red light would be really good for coyote hunting. I used to use red lights whenever I was still using lights to coyote hunt. I've switched to thermal now. But this would be a great option for coyotes. We'll throw in the green LED now and show that to you guys. And here's the green LED. A little bit brighter than the red. And this has a beam distance of about 500 yards. I really like this green one. This would also be another great option for coyote hunting. A little bit easier on the eyes than the white but to me for this t18 the green led performs a little bit better than the red see way back there at 300 yards not sure how well this camera is going to pick that up but you can see those trees back there at 300 performs really well so now I want to show you this really cool feature that comes with the t18 which is the wireless remote control you can see right here I have the flashlight laying on the handrail of my porch I've got the wireless remote in my hand and then you just hold the power button on the wireless remote and it turns it on that way you can put this remote on your rifle, just be hands free. It comes with a piece of sticky uh, Velcro, double sided Velcro here. You can mount this to your rifle and also has some holes here to where you can run a strap across the stock or wherever you want to mount this switch. You can see here you've got plus and minus. I'm going to move this out so the camera focuses on the light. But if I hit plus and minus on the remote, I can change the intensity hands free. There it is all the way up. I will hit minus to bring it back down. 
really handy feature there. You see here, get this to focus. So you can probably see here in the background, hit plus. It's all the way up right there. And we'll bring it back down. Really awesome little feature there. Super light. Just takes a USB plug in right here to recharge this. Once this dies, it only takes an hour to fully charge it. Really handy. And you're gonna get different run times depending on which uh, LED or which bulb you're using. Uh, the white LED is 195 minutes. The red LED is about 370 minutes of run time and the green is about 400 minutes. If you get on their website, you'll be able to find several different mounting devices to mount this to a weapon, to turn it into a weapon mounted light. Uh, you can use your own mount, but like I mentioned through Brian Knight's website, which will be listed down below, uh, you can take a look at their mounting systems that they have available there on the website. So after using this light for probably two to three months, uh, I can say that I'm very happy with it. Um, you guys know that I've watched the channel. I have moved on from using uh, weapon mounted lights for coyote hunting as I'm now using thermal, but I have used this light to track coyotes out in the field uh, that I've killed and it just does a really good job because you can focus the beam so well, uh, making it either flood or you know zooming it in real tight and getting a lot better distance, a lot better throw out of the beam. Just a really versatile light really well built and not overly large pretty easy to fit in a pack or in a pocket and i uh, want to thank the company brian knight for sending this out to me make sure and take a look at the link down below to look at the t18 artemis use the code hoosier hunter to get 10 percent off of your purchase and make sure and comment down below let me know what you guys think appreciate you guys watching happy hunting be safe see ya bye